Now the Fortnite Lego update is around the corner. We also did see this awesome trailer showcasing everything about it, including an exciting run through of the map, which is quite bigger than everyone thought. Festivals, collabs, new weapons, plus free rewards, and also this new movement mechanic that everyone hates, in which Fortnite has responded to the community about this and they should make a change soon. We have a load to discuss in today's video, so do stick around here until the end. Make sure y'all fans do smash that like as well and help us reach that astounding 50 likes goal. Do however, while you're down there guys, hit that big red subscribe subscribe button with notifications on to stay updated with the latest in Fortnite. And you boys also want to pick partner, so be sure when you're on that Fortnite item shop screen, type in code VYCG. It's a simple four letter code, guys, easy to use, and it's greatly much appreciated. Now with the V28.00 update, the biggest update that we've had in Fortnite for a while now, brought in a chapter five season one. A new map, some new NPCs, and some insane collaborations. This also brought in something that the Fortnite community had been desperately looking for, for a long time and that's communication from the big boys themselves now the new season guys included a new way of moving as i said before and trust me the community is not really a fan of it fortnite has completely transformed the moving mechanic and has added some animation features to let the game feel more realistic some pros are saying it changes the fundamentals of the game and it affects the speed of the character at times when moving but some are actually saying the change is good and we just need some time to adjust fortnite however did say this in a recent tweet on the matter hi back with another Another moving update. We're currently exploring a few options to speed things up while keeping the fresh and new animations. Aiming to roll this out in the coming weeks, just wanted to communicate with everyone while we finalize these tweaks. Thanks again, as always. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. Honestly, fams, this is good news for the community. But so far, guys, I myself, I'm not really too complaining about the new movement as I think you just need to add a few simple changes to your settings and it should increase your speed and let you go a little bit faster. Now, if you guys want, you can actually use these settings on screen to help with your movement mechanic until Fortnite actually figure out what to do. Now, as far as the Lego mode goes, guys, the trailer which was released yesterday has shown a lot in terms of what will be coming. We've seen animals, features along us to farm and even build houses as well. Considering there was also a glitch that allowed us to see the Lego skins early, which gave us a showcase of 1200 skins turned into Legos, the trailer still didn't disappoint. But with the second out of four updates that's scheduled to be released this season, the update that's meant to be released on December 7th will have a slight downtime, but will not be a huge update guys, but merely a hotfix I believe that should officially release the Lego mode as well as the Fortnite Festival and skins relating to it, such as The Weeknd. That's right guys, The Weeknd skin has officially been decrypted and we do have a full showcase. So leave your thoughts down below of what you actually think about this skin, guys. I absolutely love that it's coming with multiple styles and it should be released in the Atom Shop on December 9th. So don't forget to support us in the Atom Shop, guys, by popping in supporter credit code VYCG if you're copying it.
But speaking of December fams, tons of questions were asked about the upcoming racing mode. A lot of people from my community personally guys were actually confused as to how do they get a certain number of cars from Rocket League into Fortnite. But the racing mode is scheduled to be released tomorrow as well, or I believe the trailer is scheduled to be dropped. The Lamborghini and the cycling cars are what the community were especially into. Now I'm telling you guys right now, for those who still don't understand how the cars are implemented in Fortnite, you for one had to have a number of cars from Rocket Rocket League in order for them to transfer into Fortnite, however, that's only a part of it. This user from Twitter played Rocket League, I assume, for a number of years. Considering he has so much in his inventory, he stated that out of over 1,400 cars, only four are available to be used in Rocket League racing. That's right, four. We really lost trading to be able to use 1% of our inventory in Fortnite. Now fams, trust me, I absolutely understand exactly how you feel considering the Lamborghini which was released in April 21st of this year in Rocket League and a lot of us didn't cop the bundle at the time, let alone had Rocket League downloaded as a game. It's crazy we can't have other cars than just these four as what Greenfire explained earlier. But now as to when the Lamborghini Huracan bundle will return to Rocket League or maybe even Fortnite for that matter considering we're going to be getting a Rocket League race Racing mode, we're probably gonna be getting a Rocket League racing item shop as well. I did a little research, guys, and iPhone Monkey did say it's supposed to be dropped on the 23rd of this month, and it's actually coming in the Fortnite item shop, so that's good. But as we're now opening this December month, we do have some info relating to Winterfest 2023, as it said here by iPhone Monkey on Twitter. Sergeant Winters, guys, will return for Winterfest 2023, throwing candies and gifts at nearby players as he passes in the Sergeant Winters truck. So basically, guys guys expect some changes on a spawn island as well to have some winter wonderland changes guys or some decorations and stuff however with some people actually desperate myself included for a map that's fully covered in snow this christmas guys i honestly don't think it will happen but i could be wrong guys and more info could get leaked about it happening in the next update now regards on two free rewards guys you can probably get right now one can actually be included uh once the lego mode actually drops uh we do have a skin that should be claimed right now guys and as my community you should not miss out on this free skin click this video right now at the top right of the screen if you're interested or you could come back once you're finished with the video but the second reward guys this emote guys is claimable via a code you can use to redeem it on the epic games website the code is displayed on screen guys and it's very easy the website is linked down below in the description so you can just basically simply copy and paste it on the website and it should give you a free emote however though fans with that being said the update should be live by the time you're finished watching this video and fortnite should have already added a change to the movement mechanic making it better for the community or if not they probably will be tweeting out some other information relating to it guys but simply leave your thoughts down below what you actually think about it should they nerf it and revert it i'm not really sure guys leave your thoughts down below don't forget to drop a like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one check out any of these videos right here on screen maybe something about the explorer emily skin and how to get it i'll see you in the next one